All right, so we got a lot to be thankful for. And first and foremost, I want to thank everyone that has subscribed, liked, and followed us all year, actually, since I've been in business. Definitely appreciate that. In this video, we're going to show you how we go about installing some rebar for this gray beam. It's approximately 115 feet long, 24 inches thick, two and a half feet wide. All rebar is number five. 12 inches on center, except for the square. Sometimes they're called stirrups. Those are number four, eight inches on center. So you definitely want to check this video out, especially at the end. I'm going to show you what our next video is going to be, but I got the drone out for that of us pouring this gray bean. It's a nice video coming up. I'm working on that now. So with all that being said, I hope everyone is doing well and staying positive. And once again, I'm thankful for you guys for uh, following us all year. So here we go. Any questions, any comments, leave down below. And while you're down there, be sure to like that video. This this video it definitely will help us out. So I'm going to let the video ride out. Then we're going to go from there. This is what we do. Appreciate you guys. Forgot to mention that we got some piers here that are approximately 10 feet, 10 feet on center, 12 feet deep, two feet in diameter. We use the number four and number six rebar for those. I will have a video coming out for that pretty soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And while you're down there, hit that like button. We're also on other social media platforms, primarily Instagram. But you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. What else is out there? It's so many Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, we're on there. So all those links are below. And if you're looking to get some work done this year, we're pretty much cannot get to it, to be honest with you. I hate to say that, but I guess it's a good thing in a way. But we are starting to um, book for next year, the first quarter. So hit us up. All our information is below. We're going to get back to this video. Be sure to stick around to the end. You will see the drone flying of us pouring this uh gray beam that video is next so again subscribe to the channel like the video if you haven't already appreciate you guys
right, so we set to pour this gray bean tomorrow. This is for a retaining wall. Ideally, we will pour it together, but just because of this hill, I just didn't want to take a chance on pouring this all monolithic. And sometimes we leave the stakes in it. So if we did form it together, I probably would have had those stakes every two feet. And I don't think that would have looked right. Or they probably would have said something with that. But with this one, we're going to pour it separate. This uh, footing or gray beam is called. We got some piers under it that's about 12 feet deep, two feet in diameter. They're about 10 feet on center. The rings on this is number four. Those are eight inches on center. And then we have number five going through about 12 inches on center connecting everything. So I'm gonna walk it out with you guys. This part is about 115 feet long. It's gonna take about 24 yards of concrete to uh, pour it. So let's check it out. You guys got any questions or comments? Of course leave down below but this is going to be the, the first part of this wall which is about 300 and about 280 feet long so over there you probably see those little plywoods that's we got about 15 more piers to to install I'll show you guys a video of that later this is what we're going to do we're going to pour this tomorrow it's all ready to go. It took us a little longer just because of this curve here. And I'm gonna get a drone shot up. And you guys will be able to see that curve. We use one by 12s with those as opposed to two by 12s just because we had to bend them. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that's what we got. Oh, we have these L's sticking up as well. These are gonna go into the wall. The wall is gonna be about 10 inches thick. So you probably seen some YouTube shorts of some of the tools we've been using. So if they came across your feed, definitely hit that like button.